One of these robots is the Roomba i7, the other one is the J7. If it wasn't for the label on the robot on the right and a different color side brush, you wouldn't be able to tell from this angle. So is the J7 anything more than an i7 with a front-facing camera for object avoidance? Let's find out. Okay, so now is the moment of truth. I've spent hours following the S9 and i7 around, so I know how Roombas, the old Roombas navigate. Let's um, start a mapping run. And, oh, this is new. I guess they did an app update. Let's do a new one, because that's what we want to test. I don't need mapping tips. I made a video about mapping tips. All right, start mapping room. This is actually the first time this thing is running. Oh, this is quiet. Much quieter than the i7, or at least my i7. Then again, the brushes aren't running, oh, obviously. It's been a while since I used one of these things. I forgot that the uh, brushes don't run in the mapping room. So I guess I'll have to do a cleaning run later and see. What's dumb is that the side brush runs, so whatever hair it finds, it's gonna um, tangle up in that brush. Basically, after a mapping run, uh, you have to clean the side brush and other parts of the bottom of the robot in one of these things. So, so far it's, it's doing um, a pretty open area. I like that light. One thing that's different is it's slowing down more before it crashes into things. The i7 does that too, but not most things. It's very selective about what it will slow for. So I'm curious to see if it will slow for that couch leg. Oh, I hope it doesn't miss it. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. I wonder what made it slow down there. That was a very gentle bump. We'll see what happens when it gets to the chairs, I guess. Oh, chair leg, couch leg. Interesting. So, so far, it looks like the navigation is different in terms of um, how it uses that camera to avoid smashing into things the way the i7 did. But the real proof will be um, when it gets to the chair legs, because those are usually too small for IR sensors to detect. Now the mapping does seem a little weird because this is doing a mapping run, not a cleaning run, but it's acting as though it has to go everywhere. So that camera, really isn't doing that much for the mapping. So in that sense, I think it's pretty much like the um, i7. Oh, didn't see that. And that's what, that's what the i7 normally does. It smashes into things at about that speed, that hard. That's the first time that this thing has done that. Probably because that wasn't in the camera's um, field of view. So that's interesting. It does weird things, like LiDAR robots navigate and map in such precise and predictable and methodical ways. And then when you see this thing, these VSLAM guys, just they make these weird decisions. I guess there's an algorithm there, but I just don't understand how it works. 
I'm probably just gonna wait till it gets to the chair legs. Oops, man. Oh, well, oh, that's that's interesting. It saw that one. How did it see it? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till it um, gets to the chair legs and I'm gonna stop the video, uh, let it finish its mapping run, tell you how long it took, um, and what my thoughts are about navigation and mapping. Maybe we'll do a little cleaning run if I can divide it into rooms. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, look at how it slowed down. This is very different than the i7. So for those who have never um, had an i7 and don't know what I'm talking about, an i7 will bump into things at pretty much full speed because it can't see them. Its infrared sensor in the front is really bad. And this robot bumps into things gently. So with a laser, um, you know the object is there, but with a camera, you can't be sure, so you still have to touch it with the bump sensor. But it knows that there's something probably there, which is why it slows down, and the i7 did not do that. Let's see what it does here. It slowed down again. I really like this. Okay, I'll start the video back up when it gets to the chair legs, but I suspect it'll be about the same thing that we're seeing here. Don't ask why I have a coffee machine, an espresso machine rather, next to my wood stove. It was Thanksgiving and we needed the counter space. And then it kind of just stayed there. Ooh, okay, that was very i7-ish. So it's not perfect. I7-ish, that's a new word that I made up. Right, that was a little bit better. So it still has a little bit of a problem with chair legs. Yeah, that's, that's a Roomba, dragging chairs around. All right, so um, definitely for chair legs. It's still a Roomba. Just add a laser for crying out loud. But for uh, most other things, it seems to be doing a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna let this thing finish this um, mapping run and then I'll see how it goes. Maybe do a quick cleaning run to see how noisy it is. And then we'll render an initial verdict. Is this just an i7 with a camera on the front? So far, I say no. All right, it finished the mapping run. Let's see how long it took. 8.57 to 10, so two hours. Hmm, that's not that bad. It's a little bit quicker. No, because I, I locked off um, a portion of the upstairs. So yeah, okay, that's about the same time as the i7 would do. Let's see um, what the map looks like. Go away, all right. So that's not horrible, actually. That's actually pretty good. Okay. I'll just do a quick cleaning run to uh, vacuum everywhere. Just wanna see how noisy it is. It seemed quieter than the i7 when just the wheels were running. Because my i7 made a lot of noise with the plastic gears. Oh, that is pretty quiet. Okay, yeah, this is quieter than the i7. No, don't vacuum my bathroom. That's a lot quieter than the i7, at least my i7. Alright, I'm going to pause that, send it home. Okay, so um, I'd have to say so far that it navigates a little bit better than the i7 in terms of how it handles obstacles. Um, it does so about as well as the S9 because that has a time of flight sensor in the front. Um, as far as mapping, it's about the same as the i7. 
So basically, uh, as far as I can tell right now, the J7 is an i7 with a camera on the front, um, an object recognition, but that camera is used for more than object recognition. It's used for avoiding obstacles and slowing down before it bumps into things. So, so far, so good. Like I was saying, so far, so good, and I'll have more for you in future videos. But so far, definitely a little bit better than the i7.